the way McDonald's works sounds so much like pre-perestroika Russia and Soviet Union to me, except that the whole world was outraged by the centralized control of communist regimes. We don't get so outraged with the authoritarianism of corporations. I really think it's time citizens started to recognize that citizen freedom is inconsistent with the freedom that corporations like McDonald carve out for themselves using legal means in irresponsible ways. Animal welfare sort of has got more threatened recently in India as a result of free trade policies, which is forcing many of us who, who assume that in India at least, the cow was sacred and would be saved, and that uh, we had a culture of compassion. And that was one area we didn't have to create new campaigns on because our civilization had ensured that animals are respected and protected. That's come under new assault because of the fast food chains, uh, factory farming, and the entire globalization of a rotten food culture. Pepsi subsidiary Kentucky Fried Chicken is supposed to have by now opened 30 outlets. They have only managed to have two running for a short while because both, the one in Bangalore and the one in Delhi, faced long-term protests from people. Uh, we've had a very wide alliance of farmers, of consumers, of doctors, of environmentalists, of people concerned about Indian culture and our cultural values, people concerned about animals and cruelty to animals, getting together to resist this onslaught. The takeover of the global economy by global corporations based on wasteful production and uh, based on dis dis actually destruction of livelihoods and jobs is um, is definitely becoming a very, very major threat to the people uh, of India. And if we just take the case of the company who will supply the meat to McDonald's, just by buying up cattle and leading to a slaughter of the living economy of cattle-based agriculture where the cattle pull the plows, provide the energy, provide the organic manure, are literally the support base of sustainable agriculture. Uh, within a few years, we've had a destruction of 300,000 livelihoods with peasants losing their only source of an economic survival. That's a very, very direct attack on the survival of people. But there's a second level of attack on survival of people, which is related to the fact that food that today goes to feed the poor and hungry in India will get diverted to feed the animals that will then uh, go into fast food chains to feed in India definitely the elite. There is a third component related to it and that the land and water that today meets the survival needs of people of India would get diverted to factory farms, would get diverted to producing the meat base for these chains. We are declaring that India's natural resources are for the sustenance of Indian people, not for the profits of irresponsible corporations.